Dogs and humans are entirely different creatures. So is their metabolism. Just like humans cannot digest dog food, there are certain foods that dogs cannot digest. Even in the worst cases, these food items can be fatal. Welcome to another video. If you're a dog owner or a dog lover who likes to give a treat to random dogs on the street, then you need to watch this video because you might hurt the dog unintentionally. In this video, I will be explaining the food items which you should avoid giving to your dog and what the outcomes are if these items are swallowed. So let's get into the details. 1. Avocados Avocados contain a toxin called persin, which is perfectly safe for humans, but extremely toxic to dogs. Because it is found in avocado fruit, pits, leaves, and bark, you should avoid giving your dogs any part of the plant. If a dog consumes any of these, fluid may build up in the lungs and chest of the dog. This can make breathing difficult, resulting in oxygen deprivation and even death. Fluid can also build up in the heart, pancreas, and abdomen, leading to other fatal complications. A dog may also swallow an avocado pit, which can cause choking or a blockage in the digestive tract. Number 2. Caffeine Caffeine consumption can result in abnormal heart rhythms or lung failure in dogs, which can lead to death. Coffee, tea, and other caffeine-containing beverages should be kept away from dogs. Caffeine is normally found in coffee, tea, and coca. It is also added to soft drinks and medications. In dogs, the substance can increase heart rate and stimulate the nervous system. Dogs will experience restlessness, excessive thirst, vomiting, and loss of bladder control. Too much caffeine can ultimately lead to death, so keep a close eye on your dog and make sure it does not even get close to caffeine. Caffeine is rapidly absorbed by a dog's system, resulting in mild effects at 9 mg per pound, or 20 mg per kilo, of the dog's weight, and seizures at 27 mg per pound, or 60 mg per kilo, and higher. One typical cup of brewed coffee contains approximately 95 mg of caffeine. 3. Grapes and Raisins These two products can be extremely toxic for dogs. If swallowed, even in very little quantity, these products can immediately cause vomiting and diarrhea. Ultimately, it can cause kidney failure and can be fatal for the dog. These can be injurious if swallowed in raw form or form of an ingredient in any other product. The toxic compound of grapes is unknown, but research has shown 169 reports have found that many dogs died after eating them. 4. Alcohol you must all love drinking alcohol, but please keep it away from your dog. Alcohol can be found in a wide range of products, including alcoholic beverages, perfumes, mouthwash, paint, varnish, and a variety of cleaning products. Tiredness, lack of muscle coordination, low body temperature, poor breathing, vomiting, and diarrhea are all common symptoms that appear within an hour of consumption. Too much alcohol in a dog can cause lung failure, seizures, coma, and even death. 5. Chocolate Yes, a favorite of us all, chocolate can be harmful to dogs. It contains the stimulant chemicals, theobromine and caffeine, and which are not possible for dogs to metabolize. Chocolate can cause stomach pain, vomiting, and diarrhea. The severity of side effects in a dog depends on the amount of intake. The more toxic chocolate is to your dog, the darker and less sweet it is. Among the most dangerous types are unsweetened baker's chocolate and cocoa powder. 6. Salt Maybe in small quantities, salt is not dangerous. If taken in large quantities, it can lead to a condition known as salt poisoning or water deprivation in dogs. Neurological disorders, cerebral edema, vomiting, diarrhea, depression, tremors, fevers, and seizures can result. In severe cases, it may be even fatal. So it is not advisable to give your dog any kind of salted item, not even chips or popcorn. Also, make sure that your dog is drinking fresh water. 7. Xylitol Xylitol is a sugar alcohol that is commonly used to sweeten candy, gum, toothpaste, and baked goods. While it is considered safe for human consumption, it can be fatal to dogs. Eating foods containing xylitol can cause a significant drop in a dog's blood sugar. Initial symptoms such as vomiting, weakness, difficulty in moving, coma, and seizures frequently appear within 30 minutes of ingestion. Xylitol can eventually cause liver damage and death in the dog. 8. Cooked Bones Dogs love bones, and generally, we think that it is okay to give them whatever bone is in front of them, but it is not okay to give dogs cooked bones. The process of cooking bones makes them more brittle and more likely to break when the dog is chewing on it. Broken teeth, mouth injuries, constipation, and most concerning, an intestinal blockage or perforation are all possible outcomes of cooked bone intake. Peritonitis or inflammation of the stomach tissue can also result from this. 9. Leeks, Onions, and Garlic Avoid giving your dog food from the Allium family because it can harm the red blood cells of the dog. It can make the dog anemic, 
Small quantities do not cause many issues, but when consumed in large quantities, they can be harmful. 10. Dairy Products Veterinarian Sonia Olson says that most dogs are lactose intolerant, so eating anything which is made of a dairy product, like milk and cheese, can cause serious stomach issues. The intake can be followed by vomiting, diarrhea, and other gastrointestinal issues. We are almost halfway through the video. If you are finding it interesting so far, then subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Your support helps us make more videos. Now let's get back to the topic. 11. Bacon Your favorite breakfast dish contains a lot of fat that can lead to pancreatitis in the dog. You may not feel hot after eating a plate of bacon, but your dog will. When the owners were outside prepping the grill, I saw a dog help himself to four bacon-wrapped filet mignon skewers, Dr. Olson recalls. He ate not only all that fat and raw meat, but also the metal skewers, which could cause massive stomach trauma. Surgery was eventually required. 12. Peach and Plums These fruits may not be inherently bad for dogs, but they are dangerous for your dog. The pit of these fruits can get stuck in the throat of the dog, or even in the stomach, which can lead to choking and gastrointestinal obstruction. If the situation is not treated properly, it can lead to death. So do not consider these symptoms normal or easygoing. 13. Corn Corn is not harmful to dogs, but the cob, even just a piece of it, can be highly dangerous. Its smallest piece can get stuck in the intestinal tract. Furthermore, corn cobs are notoriously difficult to detect on x-rays, so doctors may need to use an ultrasound to locate them. If the corn cob is not removed, it's possibly fatal. 14. Bread Bread has a lot of oil and sugar in it, which can cause pancreatitis in dogs. Dr. Olson notes that schnauzers are especially vulnerable, and she treated one who had consumed an entire loaf of white bread. He was so ill, she remembers. We induced vomiting, but his pancreas was on fire. He was in the hospital for days. 15. Dough Lastly, we have raw dough. The ingredient in raw dough which can be fatal for the dog is yeast. The dough continues to rise in their stomach and can extend their entire abdomen, causing extreme pain and potential intestinal blockages. This effect can cause a stomach-twisting condition known as gastric dilation volvulus. Another potential issue is that the fermentation of the raw dough produces ethanol, which can result in alcohol poisoning. So these were the food items you should avoid giving your dog. First of all, try to keep these food items away from your dog. Always put this food on the shelves, where your dog cannot have access to them. But what if your dog accidentally takes any of these? If you suspect your dog has consumed anything toxic, contact your veterinarian right away or call the Pet Poison Hotline. Even if the amount they ingested appears to be less than the toxic dose listed above, it is still best to contact a professional for advice on how to care for your pet. Treatment will differ depending on your dog's symptoms or the type of food which he or she was exposed to. Also, you should never treat or medicate a dog unless instructed to do so by a licensed veterinarian. This was all from the video. Hope it was interesting and helpful for you all. If there is any food item that I've missed, please tell me in the comments section. It might help other dog owners. So, see you again with another video soon.